Good day everyone. In this video, we will discuss about finding the equations of circles. In the last video, we have defined circle as a circle is a set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the equal distance is called the radius. Point A denotes the center of the circle and AB denotes the radius. Also, we have learned about the general and standard forms of the equation of a circle. We also discussed about rewriting equations from general to standard form and determining the center and radius of a circle. In this video, we will discuss how to find equation of circles given some conditions. Before we proceed to our examples, I want to emphasize that to easily determine the equation of a circle, we need to identify first the center and radius of the circle and substitute the values of h, k, and r to the standard form of the equation of the circle. Let us have this first example. Find the equation of the circle in general form with center at 2 comma 3 and whose radius is 3 units. So since the center and radius are already given, so this is our center and this is our radius, we simply now substitute the values of h, k, and r to our standard form. Remember that our standard form is given to be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Substituting our values to this equation, we will have x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals 3 squared. Notice class that this is already our equation of the circle in standard form. However, going back to the question, we were asked to write the equation in general form. So how are we going to do that? First, we need to evaluate or simplify rather this expression x minus 2 quantity squared and this expression y minus 3 quantity squared. Remember the square, that squared means multiplying by itself. Therefore, you will have x minus 2 times another x minus 2 and then this one. So it is better, it is better to expand the given expression. And then simplifying this, 3 squared means 3 times 3, so that will give you 9. Okay. Multiplying binomial by another binomial, you may actually use the FOIL method. So to do that, x times x will give you x squared. Then x times negative 2 will give you negative 2x. Negative 2 times x is another negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 will give you positive 4. Copy the plus. Do the same thing here. So y times y equals y squared. y times negative 3 equals negative 3y. Negative 3 times y equals negative 3y. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 equals 9. So next thing to do is to simplify this and this. Since they are similar terms, we can combine them. By combining them, they will become x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 9. Now, we can combine the constant terms. 
So, positive 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. But if we're going to equate our equation by 0, remember, if we will make this a 0, so let me erase this one. Let us erase um, 9 here and bring it and write it on the left side of our equation. So, 9 will now become negative 9, then this will become 0. So, when we simplify 4 plus 9 minus 9, it will just give us 4. Now, recall the general form of the equation of the circle. We always start with x squared followed by y squared. So, when we do that or when we write that, it will become x squared plus y squared, then followed by negative 4x, then followed by negative 6y, and then the constant term, 4 plus 9 minus 9, again, it's positive 4, equals 0. So therefore, this is your equation in general form. Let us have another example. Find the equation of the circle in general form given the graph below. Just like what I have told you earlier, in determining the equation of a circle in general form, it is very important first to determine the center and the radius of the circle. From the illustration, it is very clear that our center is at negative 1, 4 and the radius is this one. So, from here, from the illustration, it is very clear that our radius is equal to 1 unit. So, therefore, H is equal to negative 1 and K is equal to positive 4. Substituting that to our standard form, we will have X plus 1 quantity squared because H is equal to negative 1. So, it will become like this x minus negative 1. That is why it became x plus 1. Plus y minus 4 quantity squared equals 1 squared. So just like what we did earlier, we expand this so you can easily see what you need to multiply. So x plus 1 quantity squared is equal to x plus 1 times another x plus 1. And y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to y minus 4 times another y minus 4. Then 1 squared is equal to 1. Once again, FOIL method. So x times x is x squared. x times positive 1 is positive x. 1 times x is another positive x. And then positive 1 times positive 1 is another positive 1. Then copy the plus, do the same thing here. So you will have y times y is y squared. y times negative 4 is negative 4y. Negative 4 times y is also negative 4y. And then negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Then equate the whole equation by 0. So we need to, to write this one here on the left side of our equation. So, it will become minus 1. Then, the right side became 0. Okay. Next thing to do, we can combine these similar terms here. So, we will have x squared plus 2x because x plus x is 2x. Then, copy plus 1 there. Then, copy plus. Then, y squared. Then, negative 4y minus 4y will become negative 8y plus 16 minus 1 equals 0. Okay. Next, combine the constant terms. So, positive 1 plus 16 is 17. Then, minus 1 is 16. And then, let's rearrange or let's arrange the terms wherein we need to write first the x squared. Okay? Followed by the y squared. Followed by the term with x. So, that would be plus 2x. Followed by the term with y. So, that is negative 8y and then we have simplified our constant and we got their positive 16 equals 0. So therefore, this is your equation in general form.
I hope that you have understood the lesson. And for the next video, we will discuss about parabola. Thank you and see you on our next discussion. Thank you.